what it do what it do fellas so today's video is all about things that she keeps to herself about you and oftentimes also she'll tell her girls too but this is more so like that first thing that she notices it's running through her mind and then when she leaves and this also could be through texting she's thinking this stuff but when she has to think about it she leaves she thinks about it it's all coming down to yeah i wasn't really or mm, yeah this is how and it's all about how she notices these certain things, how she feels about how you act, how confident you are around her. So all these things girls pick up. And obviously your physical appearance is very much important. I'm not going to stress you guys so much about obviously getting in the gym. Y'all need to get in the gym. But I do talk about all that stuff. So just keep in mind all the basic stuff, especially if it's first time her seeing you, she's going to physically be rating you. Okay. And have some things to say to herself, think to herself. And then once more, maybe run back to her girl and tell. Now, fellas, get this video a huge thumbs up and there is a great sale going on right now for of course black friday and thanksgiving so it is for consultations and fellas we could talk about anything consultations can be fun it also be about no contact or it could be right back to oh you have personal goals that you have things that you want to accomplish so make sure you check out the link after this video let's go into this actual thing the first thing that this girl is feeling when she is around you or texting and texting remember I never really am, I was never, ever a fan of texting, really. More so because I just feel like texting doesn't get much out. So texting, this doesn't really apply to too much, of course, right? But of course, phone calls, she can kind of pick up your vibe, your tone, all those things. So the first thing is, how intimidated are you by her? So more so when you guys are in person, that's how she's going to notice your intimidation level when you see her. Now, fellas, this is back to confidence. This is back to how much do you feel okay around her? How much do you feel ready to go? As in, hey, I don't care if she's going to shut me down, rejection, all those things you guys are supposed to be prepared for. And then also just knowing that if it goes bad, that you don't have to be upset, that you don't have to react. And that's where a lot of fellas lack. Now, this is just one aspect. You guys can be lacking confidence because maybe you feel like in other areas in your life, now it could be physically, we won't be getting into details, but it could be physically, your appearance, your physical appearance could be you're lacking in those other areas. So back to your confidence. Of course, when you're around females, it's going to show. It's going to appear. Now, here's the thing. You're physically showing it most times. I'm not even talking about your tone, like I said. I'm not even talking about how this girl's around you and she can have a conversation with you, right? And she can notice that you're so intimidated. But this is how it's so many different ways that she's picking up. And fellas, yes, through the phone, you know if you're doing phone calls, FaceTime, she's definitely looking at the, the screen. She's hearing your voice and she's picking that all up. She's taking it in and she's going to think to herself like, is this guy really scared? She's going to start also thinking like, what type of guy is he? Is he going to be the nice guy? Is he going to be the type of guy to do whatever I say? Is he so interested in me? That's the other thing that y'all got to also understand. Females are trying to figure out your level of interest. Obviously with ego and all the other things, with her feeling good about herself. And there's a whole lot of other reasons, but just all those things can make her you know, act differently, feel different ways, right? But back to you, right back to the intimidation level that you will, and you should bring down, but you will be able to um, see, she will be able to see, right? I mean, to say when she's around you, she is knowing that you are not confident, you are not ready, you are not maybe experienced and so many other things. So it's really down to how can you fix it? Right, fellas? It's really down to how can you show that I'm not so intimidated. And this is very much growing, building your confidence. Now, that means whether it's the gym to fix your physical appearance, other things that I didn't name, um, whatever it is to tackle the areas where it's like finance too and things like that, you guys got to take the initiative to make things happen. So sitting around, it's not going to make things happen, of course, right? And then, of course, when you're around her, and let's say you haven't had the experience by going up to different girls, talking to girls, that's obviously affecting you. So I try to say to fellas, you know, talk to girls. Don't be afraid to talk to any of these females out here. And fellas, don't be afraid on my Patreon. It got real, real wild, but fun stuff that be going on in the sheets with her. Things that females be liking, wanting, and all types of stuff that I can't be talking about on YouTube. So please do check out the link after this video. And let's just go right back into how she's picking up that vibe. 
she's picking up, oh, you're a little scared, you're a little afraid. And so what's really happening is that you guys are maybe, and this this could be you, you guys are maybe going based on how much, oh, wow, she's over here noticing these things. And, uh, and honestly, fellas, a lot of times females don't notice how nervous or how much, you know, you're, you can't handle being around her, how much you're intimidated until a little bit later on. So it's like the first time you approach, you should not be afraid. And she's not going to pick it up when you just go ahead and spit game when you go ahead and holler when you go ahead and ask what's your name things like that so i say y'all are kind of psyching yourself out or let's say y'all are kind of setting it up for yourselves to look like you're so intimidated we understand that you might like her we understand that she looks so gorgeous or beautiful to you excellent that's also great but we also have to take into consideration that unfortunately when you know you act act based on how much you do like her how much she does look this way it's gonna make you look like a simp at the end of the day so it's really down to controlling how your emotions feel about her so you're not acting all nervous or all shy or all i gotta pull back or watch myself or even hesitating when you're saying too much and then the next thing i'm gonna be talking about is gonna be how you talk and now before i get into details let's wrap up with confidence and your intimidation level how this wraps up sometimes y'all will be talking so much around her but with your confidence level you know you'll start stuttering right you'll start hesitating you'll start basically getting to the point of like i don't know what to say to her i don't know how to um act and it's all because oh you're saying way too much to cover up how scared how intimidated once more you are by her so a lot of fellas have to be around her and actually literally understand that you could just be yourself and she's going to accept it, like come back around if she's going to really see that value in you that should be there. So I say be yourself as in if you're weird, man, like show that you're yourself and then just give a little bit of in the beginning and then later on she's going to find out the full awareness. But more so when you have your money, your status, all that stuff. Y'all should not be so worried. If you still feel like you're lacking in the back part, like putting in more work to actually have this whole high value self appear, if y'all feel like that is still an issue and you're struggling with that, you have to take the time to put in work and then also understand self-love is real. You have to build self-love. You have to have it there because you are not perfect. You can really go and get better yourself, keep doing better, but it's still going to fall back to how intimidated are you because of yourself, not loving yourself, not accepting that you could be okay, you could be yourself, you could be fine if you're yourself, if she doesn't accept you. So back to like, and this is how we'll wrap up with this first thing, but back to how like a lot of guys that are high value, a lot of guys that are alpha, sigma guys out here, they will get turned down too. They will be around a female and will be intimidated, but they will not show it. They will not let that stuff affect them. And yes, it makes them who they are. And so it doesn't take away from them maybe, you know, being like this and like that. It doesn't take away from anything. If anything, it makes them better. So knowing yourself, being sure of yourself, being okay with what's going to happen, being prepared, that is all part of you making sure that you're not intimidated and you're acting right around her. Now, fellas, I'm sure, I am sure going to bring the whole intimidation talk back up because I feel like also a lot of times some females do get intimidated too by y'all fellas and y'all don't even know it and they'll act better than y'all, right? They they don't act nervous they don't act scared they don't act like they're they're not having their confidence and they'll they'll do it in a different way that works better for them so we'll talk more about that in a different video but do understand i'm trying to tell y'all y'all could be doing the same thing that these girls are doing and then y'all can figure out what works best for you as well as a fella let's now talk about how you talk too much or you're talking way too much females are picking up that dang Every time we talk, you always have so much to say. It's not even long conversations. It's each conversation in your first talk. Like if it's a paragraph, for example, um, it's going to be all in one sentence. I mean, it's all going to be in one sent. You know how you could type, type and sent? That's what I mean. So you can, in, in real life, let's say like this. You, you are supposed to answer a question for her and you're going to say it in four or five different ways, adding also whatever you feel about her. Also adding, you know, something you feel that is important to add. Also feeling like, you know what, let me mention this in case she didn't like that. And then let me add one more. Also adding, oh, well, you know, I want to tell you I am free this weekend too. Fellas, come on. How long can you go and why are you saying so much at one time? A lot of y'all are like me. Like, you, you know, you can't get a breath in sometimes when you're talking. 
because you're talking so much and you don't want to be that person right i mean unless you're doing videos but it's, it's not always helpful because you want your breath you want to right so you want it to be when you're around her get comfortable feel relaxed stop being so tense stop being oh shaky shaky i don't know what's on it like i i might i might mess it up because you know if i if i act like this you know come on be yourself if you really have been putting in work fellas you should have some confidence there you should be okay to just talk and feel like this is okay this is enough and this is also back to knowing how to have a conversation with her Obviously, you need to know that there's certain stuff you shouldn't mention. There's certain stuff that girls just don't care to hear. And then there's also the whole idea of like a guy that says so much and isn't about his action. A lot of girls don't care to hear what you got to say. And they don't care to hear what you got to say. Because it's like back up what you re re you are really talking about, right? Obviously, it's more falling into like if you're talking about you got this, you could do that. You're all, you're all about this. Obviously, it's like, go go show that. It needs to be backed up. But bottom line is, is that females are more excited about the guys that are chasing what they're doing. The guys that are putting in work, their actions are actually showing physically. So let's just go ahead and talk about how you are hesitating. You are uh, saying way too much. Whatever the case may be with her, let's talk about how y'all should just fall into not talking as much. So back to texting. Don't text as much. When you send a message... Leave it as short as possible. Do not add the paragraphs of like, well, I also did this and my day also went like this. Or, don't also add, how about you? I hope your day went really, really well. How about you just add, how, how was your day? What about you? How about that? <laughs> let's see if her day was really well, <laughs> you know, right? So let's just go back into the talking too much, the saying so much. You can mess it all up for yourself by, of course, doing way more than you should. And so I would like once more to tell y'all, if you don't know what to talk about, if, you, you, if you're not prepared, let's say if you have no experience with females being around girls, if you, if you just had bad experiences, you have to go back to know what you like, what's important in your life. These high values you guys are talking about the things that are making them more high value so it's not that you're going to be talking about just yourself but what is it that you really do you know not that you're talking about oh this is my finances and I, I make this no you're talking about you know maybe this is your passion um whatever in your life that you're doing this is your purpose you know when you guys are also having basic conversations of this is how your day is going you're still gonna keep it so short where you're gonna make sure when you see her she could be ready to tell you how her day went like this, how this happened, how that happened. You want females to be more on that tip than you, right? You want it to be you're the man, the masculine guy where she runs to and she feels like, well, you know, I'm so in love with you or I'm so crazy about you that I just want to be your best friend to tell you this, talk about this. You know, I want to rant about this. This is how I feel. And I'm saying consider how women are emotional by nature. So if that's all facts, that must mean that, oh, when she's really backed, back to being in tune with her nature, if she's really back to that with you, then you're going to have her actually want you to be the man so she can start submitting to. So I'm saying like, you know, finally females will start, you know, piping out. We could say she could start acting right. We could say she'll start literally, let's say, being nice to you. Let's say she'll be nurturing, more loving, do more things for you, cook, clean, all those things. She'll start doing all that. For you more so now all down to okay you know the, the the feelings are there you get what i'm saying and it makes sense now let's just talk about how y'all could just be yourself and then expect her to like you if you have the work put in that's how you build your confidence so a lot of times y'all are not feeling okay y'all are hesitating y'all are nervous around her because you guys have not been doing the back work you guys have not been bettering yourself elevating so fellas i'm gonna wrap up with you can build your confidence you can be less intimidated not intimidated around women because you've already already ready fully prepared yourself in the back in the back you know when nobody sees what's going on right when the curtains are closed right when you're ready to be in front all the work that you've been putting in it's gonna show now, it's also, once again, physically, mentally, it all starts mentally once more, but it's gonna have to show. So, if you're talking too much, if you don't know what to say, also, you could practice. You could practice at home. Fellas, you could also watch videos. And then go, like I said, talk to girls. Don't be intimidated. If you're intimidated, force yourself to still talk to her. Talk to even a girl that you wouldn't really, really want. Give her a chance, just so you can build your confidence. I know that sounds bad, but it's also going to help you not be so intimidated around women. It's also going to have you understand females, right? And who knows, you know, she could actually be your type in the long run. Or you know what, if you get to know her, she could maybe be like a girl that teaches you something. There could be something behind her that you learn from. However, 
This is the stuff that y'all need to like open yourselves to. This is the things that you guys got to be doing in your life. So your confidence is getting built. So that consistency is being put in. And you know, when you're around her, you're all prepared. Intimidation is not going to be a problem. Now, fellas, that's how I wrap up this video. And I told y'all, some of this stuff is, a lot of it actually, is talk to their girls. Their girls are about. Yeah, so just remember, if she's feeling these ways, you know, she is oftentimes bringing to her girl. Now, I have other videos on YouTube and stuff like that. Check them out, but just know that these are the other things that is going on. So make sure you are working so much on not being intimidated around her, not talking too much, being prepared, and being okay with rejection if that's the case. And so, fellas, don't forget about consultation. She's making you feel this way and you want to go into cutting her off. If that's the case, it can all be talked about during consultations. And don't forget about Patreon. Link down below. Bye, y'all.